boys and girls. Welcome to Reading with Miss T. Today, we'll be reading Me and Mama and Big John by Maria Rockliffe, illustrated by William Lowe. Mama's first day on the job, she comes home late, trudging up the stairs as if they laid that heavy stone right on her shoulders. She's gray as ashes, from her headscarf to her boots, even her bouncy beaded earrings have gone dull as dirt. My big sister hugs her and my little brother says, you all done building the cathedral, Mama? She laughed, but her eyes are tired. Not yet, Angel, baby. Not today. Mama used to work the factory line right here in the neighborhood. Now an early, early bus takes her across the bridge into the city, all the way down to the yard where all where they all cutting stone for the cathedral called Big John. A cathedral is a big grand fancy church and Big John is the grandest of them all. Mama tells us you could put on a whole apartment building in the middle and it wouldn't even touch the high round ceiling. You could ride an elephant through one of the Big John's great bronze doors. John is my name too. Mama says she was working hard to raise us both up right. Big John and Little John. Seems funny because Big John old, older than me, older than Mama, even older than her Mama and her Mama's Mamas. How come it isn't finished yet? I asked. Not meant to be, she says. Not in my lifetime maybe yours. On her first day off, Mama Colors come back, bold and bright. She turns the radio up loud and sing along with Stevie Wonder while she brands, braids my sister hair. At bedtime though, she's quiet and her eyes are looking somewhere far away. She lays out her tools which used to belong to another stone cutter before her. How many stones have you cut so far? I ask. She holds up one finger, one, and it's not done yet, she smiles. I know that some stone just like my baby's faces. My hands feel it when it isn't there. I smell it in my sleep. I don't get it. How can Mama stand to work so long and hard on just one stone? She lays her hand on mine, warm and rough and strong. Building a cathedral isn't just a job, she tells me. It's an art. One time, our class went to a trip to the museum. We saw all kinds of art there, paint art, pencil art, art made out of clay or colored glass or stone. All the art names on it, the names of the famous artists. I think of people coming to Big John to look at Mama Stone. My Mama, the artist. One morning, Mama tells us that her stones, her stone is done it's time to meet Big John. My sister rushes to put on her Sunday dress and shiny shoes. My brother even sticks his ears out to be scrubbed. I pull on my good brown corduroys and mama knots my tie. We march down to the bus like a parade, our heads up high and proud. I put my nose up to the window as we sail across the bridge. The numbers on the signs go down down, down, 
until at last mama sings out we're here she takes us to the stone yard first the men there laugh and joke with mama laying out their dusty palms for us to slap them five their tools make music on the stone click clack click clack click clack then she takes us up to her stone. I walk all around it. For every side, it looks the same, just like all the others. Something big and gray and heavy settles in my belly. Where's mama's name? How will all the people know that it's her art? I drag my feet up the front steps to the cathedral. Inside, it feels dark and cool, like going down into the subway. High above us, colored windows let in the crisscross crosses of light. Ooh, my sister says. My brother bends his head so far back, he almost falls over. Even mama doesn't seem so tall inside Big John. When the people start to sing, I think their voices will fly, just fly away and disappear. Instead, each voice lifts up the next, and then the next, each new one held up higher by the ones that come before. Besides me, Mama's voice joins in the song. I take her hand and sing too. On the way out, I touch a stone. It's warm and rough and strong, like Mama's hands. I lean in close and breathe the old, old smell. See that tower? Mama points. My stone is going way up top. The stone goes up and up and up, higher than I could count. I think about the hands that worked on every stone until it is exactly right, knowing that it had to hold up all the rest, knowing that it had to last long, long time. Think, then I think of all the people who will come together in Big John, not for the art to look at, for the art to be. And high above the people, Mama Stone touching the sky. Maybe they won't know whose stone it is, but that's okay. We'll know. Me, Mama, and Big John. Did you enjoy this story? I hope you did. Me and Mama and Big John. Thank you for visiting Miss T. Come again. You are reading with Miss